Okay, guys. Here's the truck, and I'll give you a little walk around of it. It's a 2008 International 4300. Does have the Max Force, Max Force 7, as we've talked about. That's a 6.4 liter, basically like a power stroke. And yeah, we know about some of the issues, but like I said, things have been addressed. So we've got 50 gallon tank, 50 gallon tank on the other side. This is wonderful. Our three batteries are here. The 25 foot bed, which we'll talk a little more about. Come here, got two, two toolboxes on this side first toolbox carry all of our fluids we carry extra oil brake fluid diesel treatment a toolbox in here it's got some of our tools in it our impact and drill in case we need it so that's pretty much in that toolbox when we come to this toolbox and this has everything that we use our battery our thing has our winch cable and stuff in it sorry that sun's bright our ball hitches, our wheels, and our straps. Everything's in this toolbox here that we use to do the trailers. So we've got the 19 and a half inch tires, which that's what allows us to run the flat deck without the step. 22 and a half, you gotta have the step. 19 and a half, you can uh, run the flat deck. And these are these are 225, 70, 19.5s. We've got our two mud flaps here. So we've got our 25 foot deck with the dovetail, which makes it phenomenal, the 25 foot deck. We do have the uh, stinger that pulls out. We haven't even come close to having to use that on any of the campers, which has been nice. We've got LED lights back here. These holes are empty. We'll put some work lights back there. Our center rail just got it's pinned in pull the pin out set it in place use the pin to put it back in we've got marker lights on the side we've got our reflective tape come over here on this side our ramps set in there which are nice they just pull out there this toolbox has got some extra straps. An old toolbox I had that got really wet from my toolbox on my Zuzu. We got some chains in there and just some extra straps. Stuff that we don't really use is all on this side since everything we do is from that side. Our 12,000 pound Ramsey winch. And then our hitch where we uh, connect the trailer to when it's on the deck. Our generator from our Zuzu that we use to uh, power the stuff inside and we'll move in there in a little bit our fuel can back there some bungees got these work lights up here they didn't work actually got them working yesterday so now they're working which is going to be nice since it's getting dark early now and everything will be loading most of the time in the dark here's our other 50 gallon tank on this side and one thing i like about this I love these mirrors. They resemble a lot of the mirrors on the Isuzu, which you can see real good on the ones on the Ford were a little harder to see. And we've got this blind spot mirror up here that comes in nice, so you can keep an eye on this side of the truck. And yeah, that's pretty much the outside. She needs a bath right now. She's probably gonna get one on the way home. Oh yeah, I forgot. We do have the air horn. It has an air horn and air ride, but the horn's not working the greatest, so we'll try to replace it and see if that helps. We'll move inside, you know, manual windows, manual power lock, nothing. Does have hydraulic brakes, not air. So we see the dash there. It does have uh, the auxiliary air tank over there. We've got our GPS, our Wi-Fi, and our Easy Pass. We've got some overhead storage up here. I did remove passenger seat and I have my air conditioner there and then that little storage bin it's got stuff in it I use it as a table also my vent for my AC's run up that window right there pops open and that sits right in underneath the handle and it works perfect 
you just set up to where you can put the curtain up but uh, we've got our bed back here and it comes across and you can see right there where my bag is the bed stopped a little short because it was cut for my pickup truck so with that shortness i just lay my uh, duffel bag in there and it uh works perfect so that keeps my bag out of the way and then also extends my bed across that window right there that pops open that's where i bring the cord in and then see the window's closed right now but the cord's still in doesn't look bad works functionally got a brake box parking brake you know, everything just standard inside the truck minus i've removed the seat and using that over there we've got our cooler right there and this works good because we can sit on the bed put our feet down here in the floor we can we can st i can actually stand up i just have to bend my head over and put my clothes on and it gives me room to stretch out like when i'm laying right there i can stretch out over here and throw my feet on this seat if i want and just so much more room it's, it's nice just getting out of the seat and getting back into bed and getting back up because i got my heater right there i set up there on top of there and plug it up when it's cold it heats and i can start the truck and be letting it warm up while without ever getting out of the truck so that's nice for me something i've missed so like i said these windows pop out which are nice on semi-cool nights when you just want to uh crack a window open let the air flow through our uh, spare tire we've got here just in case it's just a drive tire but uh just in case we need it so pretty much i think that's it we do have a place there where, with the engine block here where we can plug up and if it's cold enough we'll run uh, a line from the uh, ac maybe not from the ac i'm sorry from the generator around and plug up to the engine block but this 25 foot deck i've not even come close to using it all it's been nice that's the truck. Like I said, you know, I know a lot of people are scared of that max force. I am too. But a lot of preventative stuff's been took place, so hopefully we don't have any issues. But you know, we're just gonna save up and prepare for that in case we do. Fingers crossed that we don't. But yeah, guys, this is the truck 2008 International 4300, the Max Force 7 6.4. Uh, it's at 480,000 miles now has had a motor and a transmission replaced uh, along with a turbo and all that with documentation so that made it nice uh, does need a paint job that'll be something in the future hopefully but that's where we're at right now with it thanks for watching